Mr. Inyan, thank you very much. We're going to chat about your runners on Saturday at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. You start in race number one. You've got late December. Uh, Corne Offer gets the ride for you. Ran five and a half lengths behind stable companion Serge of Power last time out. He's a beautiful looking son of Rafif. Uh, he's a very nice horse here. I was disappointed with his run last time. I thought he'd be a lot closer. In fact, I, I thought Serge of Power and him would fight out the finish, but it wasn't to be. Surge of Power won, and he was a bit disappointing. I thought he'd, at the very worst, he'd be in the first three. Um, but he's doing very well at home. He looks an absolute picture, eating like two horses. And uh, yeah, I, th I, think he's, uh, I, th I think he'll be in the shake-up. Then we go to race number three. You've got Dixieland Band, also the ride of Corne Offer, drawn four over 1,400 metres. Lovely second last time out, and form's very good. Yeah, she, you know, Richard Ferry rode her last time, and I just found that, she, you know, she, she wasn't settled in the race. The first 800 metres, she, she fought with him, and, um, and, and I think that's what cost her at the death. But um, I've changed her bridle. I've put Corne back on her, because when Corne rode her at her penultimate run, she was beautifully settled. So I opted to go for... I had the choice of Richard or Corne, and I've and I've gone with Corne to ride her, uh, purely on that basis that he, he managed to get her to settle. I think it's very important, especially over 1400, that that a two-year-old must settle, and uh, I'm pretty sure she will be well settled, and I expect her to run on strongly as she did in her penultimate run, whereas her last run she stayed on more than than ran on, and. Finally, you know, I was with more oomph at the, at the finish, uh, you know, got her just short of the line. Race number eight, you've got Catalea, drawn two over 1,800 metres. Ashton Aries gets the ride for you and ran a lovely third behind Plum Pudding, who looks to be improving. Yeah, and no, I look, um, Catalea is a soldier, you know, she, she always does her best and, um, and I think on Saturday she'll do exactly the same again. She'll, she, you know, she's not got a nice draw, which is always in her favour. And, um, you know, I, I, she's doing very well at home, and I, I expect her to be competitive. Last year, runners comes up in race nine, family power. You've got that inside draw of one over 2,000 metres, also the ride of Corne Offer. You're expecting a bit better than that last run. I know it was a hot field last time out, and that was in the Schweppes Cape Phillies Classic. Yeah, I was very disappointed. I put blinkers on her, and uh, she hated them. And, you know, she actually... She didn't even try in the race, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, I worked her quite hard before that race because I thought, you know, to, to be competitive there, she's got to be properly fit. And, and I think I might, might have just overdone her. But um, as I said to Gary Play, I said, you know, sometimes you make mistakes, you know, we all do. And I think I made a mistake there by overdoing her. And I think she, she, uh, she you know, she went a little bit off colour with her before, just before that race. But we've given her a nice break. She's had no grass gallop, and she's going to come out here fresh. I had the choice of running against the fillies, but she, you know, she, she's only effective over 2,000 metres or more, and there aren't any races further than 2-4. And um, yeah, with a one draw, I think she'll run a, run a decent race, even though she's up against the boys. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much.